Welcome back to Gluten Free with Bree and DJ. I'm Bree. I'm DJ. And we were just recording without actually recording. So <laughs> I'm, I'm happy that we're ca we caught it like pretty early on, but yeah, we, we were going to try the first chip and then I realized that the time wasn't moving. So if you're new here, we review mm -hmm. gluten free products and also all of the products are always dairy free. The reason being is I have celiac disease, so I can't have gluten and I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't have dairy. He doesn't have any of those. He is kind of just like the person without the um, food restrictions that tries everything. So he'll really let you know how good it is. Um, today, we are reviewing Siete tortilla chips. So like I said, we were already going through the motions and this was the first one we decided to try. It is ranch. So the ingredients here are cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut flour, nutritional yeast, coconut milk powder, chia seed, sea salt, garlic powder, lactic acid, onion powder, citric acid, dill weed, and parsley powder. So if you were to go and look at the ingredients on the Cool Ranch Doritos, I can promise you that the list is probably three times longer and you probably don't know a lot of the ingredients in there. So that just goes to show. Good night. <laughs> I've only tried the cinnamon, not uh, any of these. He's tried Fuego. I really like the taste of these. Um, not as flavorful, obviously, as the Cool Ranch Doritos. You can see just by looking at them, like they don't, oh. Very bright. it's too bright. <laughs> Maybe you can see it a little bit, but they don't have as much like seasoning on them. But they do taste like ranch. They taste very good to me. Yeah, they're actually pretty good. I think they taste like ranch. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Very crunchy. All good. Next. I want to try these so bad. Next, we're going to go with jalapeno chips. lime. I used to love the kettle cooked jalapeno potato chips. <clears throat> I'm choking Those right are my now. Favorite. But I have a drink today. We knew this was coming. Happens every time. Yep. All right, this one we have cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut flour, ground chia seed, sea salt, jalapeno powder, coconut sugar. That's interesting. Coconut sugar? Yeah. That's the lime. Nutritional yeast, citric acid, poblano pepper powder. Say that three times poblano fast. Poblano pepper powder. Lime powder, spinach powder, <clears throat> onion powder, garlic powder, parsley powder, cumin, and oregano. I'm a little thrown by the coconut sugar. Um, it's just to give it the sweet. To or make it not too like. No, because it's jalapeno lime. There's nothing in that is sweet. Lime. <laughs> Danny has this weird thing, right? Where. That's gonna be loud in the video. Okay, so he thinks everything that is sour is sweet and everything that is sweet is sour. So he considers limes and lemons to be what? Sweet. No, they're sour. And I'm trying to think of something that you that's sweet that you consider sour, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. So if he has, ever says any weird things, like, don't mind him. So limes are not sweet. I don't know why they would put the coconut sugar. Um, also, I didn't mention before, you can see on the packaging, this is probably backwards. These are grain-free, gluten-free, paleo, vegan-friendly, dairy-free, and soy-free. It's a tough one. Ooh, he heard his nail at work. Yeah, I can't do it. <clears throat> Gotta do it the dumb way. I don't know why all these, like, healthier companies, they make the bag so that you have to, like, open it on the side. That's... Silly. So silly. Silly Willy. <laughs> Alright, jalapeno lime. It's way too bright when I try to show you. You gotta get closer. It makes it worse. They're definitely spicy. But there's some taste that's just like... Weird, right? It's the coconut sugar. It's like it's the cumin. I don't know what that tastes like, so probably... 
Oh, um, they do have a lime powder. I didn't hear you say that. It's definitely the cumin. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably the lime powder. They're not bad, but there's just something different. If you like spicy, you'll, you'll probably like these, though. If you don't like spicy, don't get them. Mazo men though. I don't know if I like those. <laughs> I said that they're not. They're not. I wouldn't go for them. Yeah. Like crazy if I see them. I pick next. Let's go with the cinnamon crisps. Let's balance it out. They don't even them. have those anymore. No, but I want to show them because they have a new kind. Yes. Okay. So these are their winter Christmas edition. They're cinnamon crisps. They're basically like churros in chip form. Um, these are only in around Christmas in the winter, but they just came out with, I don't know what they call them, but strips. they're strips, but are they called like cinnamon strips? Something like that. They might that. be called cinnamon strips. I haven't tried them, but it's pretty much the same flavoring as these, just in a different um, shape. And well, I'll tell you about the other stuff that they just came out with after this, but yeah, they, so the, Strips are always now on the um, shelves. These you will only find during Christmas, and I bought 12 of them when I found them. <laughs> oh, ingredients. Cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut sugar, agave syrup, pumpkin powder, cinnamon, psyllium husk powder, sea salt, and vanilla bean powder. Really not bad ingredients at all for, for the taste. Trust these me, I've given these fit. to so many people. And they taste just like churros. Everybody loves them. I can't even say it enough. Like those just taste exactly like a churro. I'm not even gonna try to go into like, oh, they had the cinnamon flavor. No, if you've had a churro, this is what they taste like. Yeah, pretty much. Crunchy churro. I used to love the churros at Splish Splash. Mm -hmm. Churros are so good. All right, Fuego. Since we both never okay. tried this. All right. We're going fuego. You want to read? Fuego! We have cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut flour, red chili powder, nutritional yeast, coconut milk powder, beet powder, sea salt, chia seed, tomato powder, jalapeno powder, citric acid, lactic acid, garlic powder, onion powder, and habanero powder. A lot of powders. a lot of seasoning. Oh yeah. They're not too spicy. They're not too spicy. My first initial like reaction to taste when I first put it in my mouth was tomato. no a Dorito. Hmm. Not the cheese nacho like they have like a spicy nacho or something just like that. To me personally again I haven't had those in probably like, years. Yeah they don't taste like that to me at all. No. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> good to know. I haven't had Doritos in years, so. I don't know, something about them just tasted, it reminded me of a Dorito. Those are very good though. The final one we have is Chipotle barbecue. Cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut flour, coconut sugar, ground chia seed, sea salt, chipotle powder, white vinegar powder, hmm. Tomato powder, citric acid, black pepper, onion powder, red chili powder, garlic powder, and parsley powder. The Tabasco my mom bought us one time, I think it was like chili. Chipotle. Chipotle Tabasco. It tastes just like that, and that was our favorite. Mm -hmm. Those are really, really good. Wow. Do they have coconut sugar in them? Yeah. So that's obviously like the barbecue is why they put coconut sugar in these. I understand that one. Those are good. All right, let's rate. Me first, or you? You go first. Chipotle barbecue, fuego, ranch. Oh, well, those are hard because they're not even in the categories with these, you know? So I'm not gonna, we're not gonna count these in. Be, just because it's, these are savory, those are sweet. So it depends what I'm in the mood for, you know? So those don't count. Out of the savory ones, Chipotle barbecue, Fuego, Ranch, Jalapeno line. Same for me. And these are just always if you want something sweet. They don't really fall into the same category as these. Yeah. Yeah, I've had these for a while. I cannot believe how good these taste though. So good. So good. I can't wait. I'm going to make a taco salad for dinner. Ooh. Now that we have four bags of chips open. 
We gotta get rid of them. <laughs> gotta eat them. Um, so, Siete also makes tortillas, burritos, burrito sized tortillas. Um, what else? Salsa, hot sauce, queso dip. They just came out with potato chips, which are not yet in New York, Whole Foods, which makes me really upset because I'm really excited to try those. Um, they also just came out with a line of like Mexican cookies. I think there's something like called like a Mexican wedding cookie. I've never had it. Have you ever heard I've of that? I've never even heard of that. No, I've definitely heard of something like that. But this is like a Spanish inspired company. So they go hand in hand with everything that they make. Um, I'm just looking at the back. It's actually run by the whole family and it's because one of their sisters and daughter was diagnosed with multiple autoimmune conditions. Um, so she needs to start eating a certain way and basically they just started creating these things and realized they were really onto something. So this is a great company. They're Abuela approved. Who does it say that? Oh. <laughs> That's great. This is the family. But yeah, try. I've never had something from them that I didn't like, like at all. Um, oh, and they also have hard taco shells. If you're, I don't know if you're a soft fan or a hard fan, but I go either way. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all good. If you're interested in finding any of their products, they're at, I want to say every Whole Foods, but I can only speak for the ones on the island. Um, their chips and taco, hard taco shells are at Stop and Shop. At Whole Foods, they have everything that they carry except for the new stuff, the potato chips and the cookies that they came out with. Um, so, Siete, if you're seeing this, please send it our way. We are dying to try. Send it to the Whole Foods in, where, what town is that? Lake Grove, New York. Yep. Please. Um, and that's the only stores I know of that they are in. I'm sure they're in some other ones. You can also find them all on Line. And these I actually found at Target in, during Christmas, so, but I'm not, I don't think they carry any of these, so, yeah. Anything you want to say? Good set of chips. Good set of chips. They really are. They're good chips. Oh, they also make a dip chip, which is like thicker and round, so that's good for dipping. These are a little thin, and they come already flavored, so what are you going to dip them in, you know? These are good to just eat like you would Doritos. The ingredients... I'm telling you, go to the food store. The next time you're at the store, look at the Doritos ingredients and then come back and listen to some of the ingredients that I listed and I guarantee they're completely different. Completely different. So these are a lot better, especially if you're going through something autoimmune or even if you're just trying to be healthier. So check them out. Healthier and they taste good. Yeah, they're not skimping on taste here. So that's it for this week. Um, Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about us, share it. Let us know if you want us to try any specific brands or products. We are always open to that. And uh, other than that, we'll see you next week.